Hello everyone and thank you for an overwhelming response to our first two episodes of Impact Next. And a warm welcome to our third episode of Impact Next webinar. Hello everyone, once again welcome to our Impact Next webinar. Impact Next is a webinar series dedicated to bringing you the insights of industry experts who have contributed, implemented and adopted open source technology. In this digital age, open source technology has transformed the landscape of innovation and collaboration by leveraging open source software. We break free from limitations, fostering an environment where building and improving upon existing technology knows no bounds. This approach allows us to create solutions that are more accessible and inclusive, benefiting individuals and industries and organizations alike. Open source technology has paved the way for some of the most remarkable and influential projects in recent history. Together, we aim to push the boundaries of what is possible embracing the ethos of Tegri. Make it matter. Join us as we delve into the world of open source technology learning from experts who have first had experience in harnessing its potential. Let's seize the opportunity to explore the innovate and make a lasting impact together. Welcome to Impact Next. It is my utmost pleasure to introduce our esteemed webinar speaker today, a through Sunbird knowledge expert, Vinod Kumar, Sunbird consultant at Techni Technologies. Vinod is an excellent team leader who humbly derives satisfaction in helping team members with his expert insights with a remarkable journey intertwined with Sunbird since its very beginning. He brings a wealth of expertise and insights to our virtual stage today. His extensive experience working with Diksha, a prominent national platform for education built on Sunbird, has equipped him with profound knowledge on Sunbird building. Please join me in welcoming Vinod. Over to you, Vinod. Thank you, Pooja. And uh, thank you all for joining here. Uh, I'll share my screen and see whether you are getting it. So uh, let me, you're able to, you're able to hear me? Yes. 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 Maybe I'll, okay, I'm just going to share my screen. Screen is visible. My screen visible? Yes. Okay. So, once again, thank you, Puja, and uh, all those joined here, and sorry for that um, initial delay. And, uh, uh, Let's start. So, you know, we know that uh, in any uh, any platform, uh, very especially the website and learning platform, they say that the content is the king. Okay, so in the sense that the the, the most important, you know, uh, part of any website aspect of website is the content, especially. Uh, uh, a learning platform like Sunbird, okay? So uh, any platform which is built for uh, uh, learning, improving, acquiring knowledge, and uh, also provide a self-paced learning, self-paced self learning, the content is plays a very, very major uh, part of uh, it, okay? And, uh, and in a platform like Sunbird, uh, where we will have uh, learners ranges from various categories, like you know the teachers, students, activists, uh, individuals, field level workers, uh, front line level, front level, fr front line workers, and uh, that to across different domains, and uh, uh, it plays a very very important role. The content plays a very important role. How we present, etc. So, uh, so there is because of this. Hence, because of that, there is a need to create and make available different type of contents 
uh, it could be a video content, a YouTube content, PDF based, you know, uh, it can be SYP, HTML, etc. And more importantly, it'll be great if you can make content more interactive, you know, uh, to give a very, very, very different experience to the learners, right? So, Sunbird has the capability uh, to build uh, a very variety of contents, okay, to uh, to deal with all these uh, type of uses, correct? And uh, I already know that there is some 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 of our some of our users uh, uh, in our platform. They use this capability of Sunbird very creatively to cater to your cater to their users, right? So. Uh, like I said, it like 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 you see it in the screen, it provides it allows you to create a whole, whole lot of uh, different types of content, whether it is HTML5, PDF, you know, uh, H5P courses, images, MP4, etc. So, what we are going to show here in this session, it is not a it is not a training uh, session here. What I would like to show you here the the various options which is available in Sunbird, which then you can use it to create different types of content based on your own imagination. It is just to show you that it is possible, right? Now, after that, it is up to you, you know, how to use it. Okay, so I will, I will walk you through some of the examples uh, which uh, Sunbird offers and uh, uh, so that you get an idea of what is possible, right? Uh, one thing before I start, um, I'm not really a content creator, but I know that uh, people who have created the content, who are serious creators, they always say that before you create any content, think of that particular user or set of users for whom you are creating the content for. Because that helps you to kind of create your content in a more effective way. For example, their simple things like the how they how they will access the content, what is their connectivity, you know, what is their level of understanding, etc. Number of uh, number of slides which you use in the content, what will be the size of your files, all these matters when you actually sit and uh, 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 start creating the content, correct? Because that's important. Yeah. So keep the end user in mind when you create the content. That's one of the very important things actually somebody has told me uh, when you when you actually sit and create the content, right? So uh, I hope whatever I'm going to show you uh, will help to achieve that. So uh, with that, we will just uh, go ahead. So what actually these are the these are the some of the things which you are trying to, which are trying to cover in this session. So basically to give you an understanding about in the Sunbird context, what are all those means and what are the meanings of content types, what are the different type of file which is supported, you know, various uh, uh, content creation tools, editors, we call it as in, in Sunbird, and a demo of uh, all those things. Okay, a simple demo so that it will help you to get started. Or if already you have some uh, 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 some confusions or whether it is possible, what are the things possible? Probably that will clear. Hopefully that will clear at the end of the session. So uh, what also we will offer here it is after the after the session, uh, we will share you an email ID. If you can write to us in that email ID, we will we will we will provide you uh, some creation rights so that you can you know. Uh, uh, Try yourself the various things I'm going to demo. So this will be valid for a week, so that you can play around with uh, you know different types of contents and how they can create, etc. Right. So with that, let's start it. So in Sunbird, okay, we said there are different types of content which we can you can create. Okay, we call it as a resources. Uh, uh, collections, textbook, courses, and assessment. Okay, this is what it is actually currently. Uh, it is uh, uh, it is supported, or you can you can create right. So now, uh, just to very very uh, 
uh, give you a very brief idea of what this also means. Resources can be because it's a single unit of learning object in Sunbird. In a physical scenario, in a physical world, it can be a single article, right? So in a physical, it can it can be a single article. That's a resources in Sunbird. Then collections are nothing but all those articles which you created, like in the, in as a resources, you put together in some format. It's called a collection. It's like you can. In physical terms, you can think that as a bibliography, right? So that's a collections. Then we have textbooks, textbooks, and we have also have a, a courses. These are nothing but, again, it's a it's a putting together all the resources which you created here, putting together all this together, but in a more structured way. For example, you give some uh, 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 chapter wise organization of the content, give some proper title. Uh, etc. And 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 just imagine that if you're opening a book, you know you the first thing you see is different chapters, and the chapters are actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, when you click when you open the chapters, a certain content content comes in. So certain articles you can read. So that's a textbook. Okay. So uh, then courses meaning again these are collections, but there are there are additional attributes, additional features to courses, which is like, you know, uh, the badges. You know, you can enroll to a course. You can add assessment, and it can be tracked. In the sense, the 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 juice users journey in this particular course can be tracked. What is their progress? You know, um, uh, the completion, etc. That can be tracked. These are the courses. Okay? And finally, assessment. Assessment is as you probably must have guessed is that it is a you know different type of questions like uh, you know the MCQ, filling the blanks match the following, ordering different sentences, reordering sentences, et cetera, can also be uh, created using the Sunbird platform, right? So with this background, we will not actually going to see uh, how this can be done. So like I, like I said in the, at the starting, so these are the different types of content which can be created. You can create content out of, you know, in Sunbird you can create PDF based content, HYP, uh, because HYP, et cetera, is an external content tool, content creation tool. So once you create that, actually, you can bring that HYP content into the into Sunbird and, uh, you know, uh, make it part of your uh, content creation, right? So uh, to start with, what will, well, I'll take you through the, how to create uh, interactive content using uh, Sunbird authoring tool, right? So let me just now go to the you able to see my screen? I think you are able. Pooja, you are able to see my screen? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So, um, What, I, what 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 you are seeing here it's a it's a it's a sunbird instant okay where i logged in as a content creator and what you see here is my what you call is a workspace right meaning this is where actually you create the you as a creator you create your content now like i said in the previous slide there are different uh, type of content which you can create like resources courses book etc and the Sunbird Sunbird provides you different authoring tool or editors to create different types of contents. Okay, now we'll start with the resources, right? So uh, uh, what I did was uh, I just created some content and uh, kept it ready for you, right? Okay. Uh, see, this is one one resource type of content content which I've created. When you open it, what you will see is you will see a you will see an editor like this. Okay, this is your interactive editor, right? So here, what my what I've tried was I've just inserted. I'll just I tell you what I did. What I do? This is I, I get this um, uh, the screen. If I I 
suppose i wanted to my idea is here it is i wanted to uh, uh, show or display to the user different vegetables and what my what i want to do is when i click when the user clicks on a particular vegetable this name comes up shows up okay so the way i did that what i did is first of all i bring this image here so i'll tell you what i did i click here and i click on the different options available for you to do that i click on add image and then if the image is already there it will display otherwise you can always upload and use you can upload these images from you know uh, from your local drive right so i already uploaded some and uh, therefore what i can do is i click here and the image and this is the image which i want to use it so it comes like that i can kind of you know do all those things right so uh, sorry so now my next thing is uh, like that all these things i have already uploaded for you and kept it in the interest of time right so now then what i did was i know that this is pumpkin so what i did was i just say pumpkin and i kept it okay so next uh, what i want to do is i want to know i want when somebody clicks on when the user clicks on this i should sh see pumpkin here so what first thing i do is i will select this object we call it subject or whatever this particular text object i click on this it's selected make sure selected on the right hand side if you see there is something called the uh, visible yeah so i make that as a i disable that visible that means what i am trying i am telling that uh, initially don't show me this object okay then what i do i click on this object which is this image then i click on this action right then i say on click i say show then i select what i want to show correct right. and then i add so what i did was i i, I created i image i inserted then i created a text and i and i uh, um, created some action on it that means what should happen when somebody click on this so the same thing i do i did for all those things now see what happens here so in sandbird there is a way to before you publish the content before, that means before before this content is made available to the public i can check what is what how it looks so i click on preview if you can see the my screen puja you can see my screen right sorry i'm just kidding yes yes okay so initially what you see that the that uh, uh, the name of this vegetable are not shown here right so so i am a child and i'm just say that i'm seeing this now i just click on this and see the pumpkin appears right and each of this thing i do that appears right this i have not uh, done anything tomato so to that if you look at here there is no action for that okay so therefore nothing will happen when you click on tomato but for cabbage there is something right so if you want to add that here click on tomato add add action show okay add then say then do so you can should be able to see that also that's one way of uh, you know giving certain some kind of an interactive experience to the user another thing is so uh, this is another slide okay where what i want to do is a uh, uh, i want to what i want to give the experience that whenever you click on each of these animal you know their sound should, i should get a sound okay each depending on which animal you are clicking on right so uh, one thing i can do is again the same thing okay basically this is an those voice is this is a voice uh, example which i am going to show you here right now i click on this now i want to what i want to do is uh, when i click on uh, uh, the cat i the the uh, the meow sound should come okay so what i'll do is i'll give a live example so i do here is so i 
okay so now first of all before that i need to upload the uh, voice here right so what i'll do is i already have something i just okay i'll do here i click on audio here right so imagine that i don't have that okay i don't have that uh, the sound here so either i can upload here i click on upload and you can choose a file uh, i already have some you know the mp3 file uh, of that particular sound either i can do it or what also i can i can record myself okay i'll just give you let please see whether i can do it so i click on record so i'm going to record a cat sound okay i click on start recording meow okay so what happens is taken i just so i can this as a cat that so it came so then what i next i what i'll do is i click here the same thing i click i gen i create an action here and i okay already the i click an action and they say that when i play a sound this right and add this now if i do a rev review of this let me just preview this and see i don't know they are able to hear that actually it played were you able to hear uh, pooja that sound uh, no okay i think the it is because of one second eh? now i think it's very very low okay so but 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 it, it plays okay so like that like that for this also uh, you can add uh, actions and uh, uh, that depends on you know you can just play another sound i can create another if that is if that's particular sound is not there i can add an audio i can upload so there is a sound here right so then i did that i say click on this thing action play so uh, i'm not sure whether you could hear that uh, but uh, uh, but it plays okay so now uh, that's one example another interesting example which i can give you is that uh, there is some feature called read aloud okay so that means uh, you can actually give that experience to users as a read along experience so for that to do for that to happen what you do is you select the enter your text like this and click on read along right then it's already there that's the reason for me i just want to okay so i'll just start again here you click on read along right so this is the text you want to give the read along experience so what you do the text is ready and you select an uh, audio from here if the audio is already there uh, you can select that suppose this is audio not this one so you select this okay so i selected that uh, uh, particular audio then i clicked on next okay now what i can do is i can sync that sound with the words uh, which is appear here okay so you click on here and uh, 
when you click on the click on here what you need to do is a uh, uh, as the audio plays you need to also press the space bar button to sync it with the each word so i'm saying sync so then add to this so that is done i'm not sure sure whether you are able to hear the audio so apologies for that but uh, you can try it out so i just saved it uh, so i review this Oh, yes, I, I can leave it. Okay, good. Thanks. So, uh, okay, so so this is this is uh, uh, this is another example. Okay, so now I will um, one second. I will show you some examples of somebody as one of our partners actually use this use this uh, you know. Uh, uh all these features to create their content so i just search for it and so this is one such content which is made by one of our partners it, it is So this is some of the example actually uh, to show you that some of our uh, uh, users have used this, they use different features very creatively and you know uh, uh, created these contents. Okay, so uh, go back to come back to this and uh, uh, one more option I'll show you uh, in the same thing. I just click on this. I can navigate between slides. So for example, if I say here, I can just say that. Uh, for, uh, go to next slide. And I say this. What I can do is I can just say, yeah, I click here again, create an action, create an on click, and just say that uh, show, sorry, link to the slide tree. Okay. So this will give a, give an experience that uh, you know navigation experience to the user in the same slide. So when you go here, uh, preview. When I click on this, and uh, it will take you to the next slide. Yeah. So uh, so this is some of the uh, uh, features which is which is already available in our authoring tool uh, to create uh, to give an interactive experience to the user. I invite you. Uh, all of you here who join to you know experiment with that if you if you uh, send your email like we can share the some of your demo credentials with you so that you can try try all those things right so now let's move to uh, some other type of content uh, another thing which is possible like i said h5p you know the h5p you know that h5p is a uh, if you go to the h5p.org h5p is a uh, is a platform uh, which allows you to create various interactive contents, right? Uh, uh, so uh, that means it is your content is authored outside of Sunbird, but still you can bring that uh, into Sunbird uh, to give a better experience to the user. Okay, so uh, these are in the there are this 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 file or whatever. If you if you click here, you will sorry, yeah. This this various type of HVAP type of content is supported in Diksha. This a list uh, is given in the in the uh, in this editor. So click here uh, will take you to that particular thing. Okay. So uh, what I did was I created some of the HVAP contents using this uh, using this platform. 
so uh, one one such type is like this so we'll just experience that too okay i created what i did was what you can do is you go to this platform you create your h5p uh, content okay uh, uh, based on what is what is supported that list is here and you suppose you create this content i created this content then click on this reuse when you click on reuse you can actually download this h5p file from that uh, website okay so I've downloaded a couple of them. I've created a couple of them for this demo and I'll show you how to use it. Very simple. You go here, click upload a content and select some content type, then browse. So what I did was I've kept something for here. So I've created a H5P content is one of the, okay. State and its capital, okay. I did that. So what is trying to do is it is it'll upload that you know because this is already created and downloaded from the download in your local drive it is trying to upload to the system wait a second okay so this is one kind of a thing. It's a thing that, uh, um, and it give you right or wrong answer. Okay. So like that, it is. So you can just say, okay. give a thing, give a wrong answer. This is one type of thing. Another give, to give you another uh, type of HVP experience. I come here. Browse, uh, where did that? Huh. This is a flashcard type of uh, because HVAP give you a variety of you know different type of contents, so flashcards, you know uh, things like chart, uh, various things, drag and drop experience. So I created a flashcard based HVAP content, which is coming up. right so this again okay now uh, what is saying that which city is this monument success okay this is actually right so and you can go to the next right this land sorry i'm not done anything this so okay. image did not load i don't know why but okay so this is this this is to give an example so what you can do is uh, you create your uh, 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 content in h5p okay but please please check uh, what are the type different type of uh, uh, h5p content is supported so you create one of those uh, in the thing and download it and upload it to the sunbird platform right and you can create a content based out of that, right? So now, uh, just coming out of this. So uh, you can also create, upload your HTML content, okay? So because we have seen that one such example is that we have seen that users, in fact, uh, you know, uh, wanted to upload you upload uh, HTML5 games, right? So again, that is created out of uh, outside of Sunbird platform. But they want to bring that into uh, Sunbird and create a content out of it to give a little more, you know, engaging experience to the user. Okay, so one such uh, thing which uh, to to demo. Uh, this is one website for this demo. I just found out whether where they have uh, some of the HTML based games. So I'll show you how to uh, uh, do that. So one thing to remember when you talk about HTML5 contents is that. Uh, you download the HTML5 content from the from wherever it is, okay, from the where source. Then uh, basically you may get a uh, you may get an index.html. It can also have different, uh, you know, the CSS file, JavaScript file, etc. So what you do is once you put all those things in one directory, 
and you select all those file and and zip it okay but also okay also make sure that the 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 first file the the root file is named it as index.html yeah so once you do that you select all those files and uh, just compress it using your zip file okay now i select this and i create so created a zip file this is what you are uploading to the platform yeah so keep that in mind uh so once that happens you go there again create upload a content one of the thing you select and uh, this is what i did webinar html this is what i upload finally correct so this also uploaded this is a uh, a game kind of a thing so i need to select key sorry yeah. so this is what you do so you select this thing so only thing is uh, you notice that because all these are created outside of the you know uh, this platform you probably need to kind of uh, you know uh, uh, just fine tune the size of the screen in the html file itself so if you know a little bit of html file you can open that html file you can actually set the the uh, the weight and the uh, the weight the size and the you know the height of this particular frame maybe if you don't want if you can you can uh, you can customize or you can enter your own text here you know like that you can do so that helps to because because the reason is because this is not made for you right because you are using somebody else can you yourself are create if you you yourself are creating then you can uh, you can set these all the height weight etc correctly so that it works in this particular what do we call it a player or canvas right so uh, that is about that so uh, then of course uh, you can also create a content by uploading some video uh, again it's important to select some content to upload this right so the same way you can upload the pdf file you you, you keep your pdf file ready and upload it right so also the youtube content also can be added so only thing what you need to do is uh, some youtube Take the YouTube URL, click on upload again. Okay, select a content type, whatever it is at. And, and the YouTube video will be playing here. Right? Okay. now i also wanted to show you the the different assessments or the question types which you can create at using this platform okay so for that again you probably must have familiar with this that's a content editor interactive editor you click on this question yeah so here you can create different type of questions right so what is currently it is provided here it is the master following the mcqs and the, uh, the filling the blanks reordering of the words and arranging the sentence right arrange sentence right so the uh, the the uh, here also the the question editor when you click on that question editor will come so we can just create a particular question you say that to answer so you this is a, this suppose this is answer you mark this is a correct answer 
then you can just say MMP. And if you need more, you can add this. Okay. So once you do that, you can also see a preview of that so that you can you you can actually see how it uh, uh, lands for the user. Okay, you select the del correct answer. You do this. Correct user get experience and uh, select to that. You can set the score also because if if the user select the right answer, uh, uh, what should be the score uh, given to that user that you can uh, you can define here. Then uh, uh, another thing which you can define here it is this. Okay, I'll show you that. Uh, And actually, say suppose suppose in your in your questions there are uh, there are ten questions. You can decide uh, you know out of ten questions how many questions you want to uh, display. Then uh, whether you want to show immediate feedback. That means uh, the the moment you, the user clicked on a correct answer or wrong answer, it will tell you immediately in the next screen either whether the answer is right or wrong. Or if you don't select that, if you don't enable that, it will only display at the end of. Uh, the entire uh, uh, questions, individual questions. Okay, so suppose there are ten questions, you can shuffle your questions. That means uh, uh, each time when the user takes it, it shows in a different order. Yeah, so uh, uh, that is uh, that is the questions like that. We can you can create different type of question like said, reordering your words. Each one give you a different you know this the screen, so uh, which helps, right? So right now it supports uh, these are the type of questions. This this five type of questions it, it supports the sunbird supports you can create right. So uh, finally, so what we have done is uh, you know if you look at uh, that uh, initial deck which I showed you, there are different types of content right. We have there are resources, courses, books question etc so these are so what we have done is we have created different type of resources right now the use case here it is what if, if you want to put together as a some kind of a format some kind of a course etc that is where it is a, uh, a way you create a collection you create a course or create a book right so normal use case is you create you create a course so here what what you will decide is you suppose this is your you have to give a title for the course, then you say that demo course. So here, the, what you do is, uh, just imagine that this is a, a course. So in the course, what you do is, uh, the course will have different, so now what you're doing is, uh, just imagine that you, you are creating a course. Course will have content, right? The learning materials, right? So that is what you are trying to do. So the way to do here it is, you click on this child. So you can just say that is a, uh, chapter one of the course. Okay. And like that you can have chapter two of the course. So, in the physical world, you just imagine that when somebody somebody opens a book and go to the chapter, what is that uh, he will see? What is that you want him to see? Is that what you define by? You select this chapter here and click on the in the bottom right, and uh, you say add from the library and the resources which you already created, right? In my in our previous steps, right? That is what you add here, right? So suppose this is one of the uh, one of the resources.
okay you want to add to this so i select this source and uh, uh, add content then i go back so what happens is when somebody clicks on this chapter right chapter 1 he will see this resource right that that's how we create so that's how you build so this is how you you can create a, a, you know the different chapters chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 etc and uh, uh, add contents to each of the chapter you can have multiple that means if the chapter 1 uh, uh, you want in the chapter 1 there are many contents you can add one by one the way i showed you right and uh, you can also have the uh, chapters sub chapters sub sub chapters you can go up to the four levels of uh, yeah, sub categories or sub chapters chapter 1 1.1 1.1.1 1 .1 like that right like that you create like this and uh, uh, you finally you create all those things then then you save it and send for review so what we have not shown how what is the entire workflow the because this uh, this session is only focused on what are the possibilities by which you can create different type of content uh, uh, so after creating all these type of content we need to what then what we will do it what we'll do to make to to get it published you need to send for review okay so that workflow you send for review and somebody in the platform who has got the reviewer rights they will review the content and once they okay with that they will check all the content created by the content creator if they find that okay there is no problem everything is working fine there is no missing elements the content is appropriate to publish they will click on the publish and the content will get published so that the users of this platform can use this content right so that's it from me so uh, i hope it was useful so what uh, we will do is apuja uh, if you can share that uh, email id uh, uh, in the in the chat so what uh, if 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 you are interested if you want to explore further please write to us uh, in that email id so we will share uh, some credentials with you and uh, you can uh, log into that credentials i can try out various things which which uh, i was trying to show you uh, sure uh, i'll uh ping in the email id uh, but we do have few questions uh, amit if you can quickly relay those questions uh, on the live yeah sure so uh, shankar had one question so he had asked like uh, dear sir what did you do in the vegetable slide that the name of cabbage and tomato were showing permanently okay okay so one second let me just you are able to see my screen yes okay so the question was how to make it permanent is that is that instead of instead of okay the question is that here itself they want to show the the names of the vegetable is that the question right yeah so they do it uh, shankar uh, the thing is you you know what i did was i inserted the image and i added some you know text then what i did was on the right side can you see there is something called visible or non can you see on the right side the the uh, you know the right side there is a box no the screen is actually there are three parts of screen one left bar then the middle where your content creation happens and right side there are a lot of options okay and in the option take them down there is something called visible say i'm not able to move my cursor can you see see my cursor there yes yeah we can see can you see this so yes. that we need to enable or disable so now this is disabled now i am enabling it can you see blue comes now you see what happened i just save and just preview it and see pumpkin is shown so that visible visible the attribute visible or the option visible so we call this in each one of is called a like object okay now this an image is an object is a text is an object so what we are doing trying to do is you click on you select the object which you want to give certain effect okay and once you once the object is selected go to the right side and there are certain option comes you play around with that 
one of the option is visible or not so visible or not meaning initially it will not be visible or you can make toggle between visible and not visible that is the one uh, at the same you can also add an video audio here and uh, that experience you sometimes you want to give an experience when the user visit the slide an automatic audio some music in the background you play right that also possible by uploading an audio i don't know this audio you say suppose this is audio which you want to upload i click here correct then say auto play there can you see there is something called auto play here i think there is a lag in the play are you seeing an auto play here no wait i think there is a lag can you see an auto play here yes we can see ah. so if you select the auto play what happens is the moment somebody comes to this slide the music the the audio which is attached to this particular slide slide and if auto play is enabled the music plays yeah then as the music plays you can interact with this content that's one that's one one way to do that i hope that is clear uh, there are a few more questions uh, if Please. you can just quickly resolve those so uh, one more question from maitra so she has asked like would be sharing some handout on the steps because i think uh, i didn't register how how to do the read along sure sure we'll we in fact uh, uh, this video will be there in youtube is that correct uh, pooja uh, yes this uh, will be there in the youtube and yeah. we will be a, also sharing yeah. uh, in any case in any case what too. in any case what we'll do uh, Uh, there are certain uh, you know uh, the videos which you have created how to use is different options you know uh, whatever we have showed you so uh, uh, we will share that with you all of you okay maybe we'll share one link maybe we'll upload it to the sunbird platform and said said you the link is that make sense puja is that is that right yes yeah yeah, yeah. that's all Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like one more question we have from uh, Ari Mishra. Uh, so he has asked uh, how to access all these content. Uh, okay. If the question is that now we have done all the creation, now as an end user, how these the end user will access this content? If that is assume that that is a question. If that is a question, like I said, uh, there are. from okay now you as a content creator create the content the way i showed you once the content is created there is a way to publish it if you can see my screen there's a way to publish it publish it meaning uh, you are saying that okay now my job is over as a content creator now i want this content to be uh, make available to the end user so that's a publishing so when you say publish the content will be become live once the content be become live it will be accessible via the sunbird platform okay so there is so this all these content which you see in this platform it is created by different content creators okay and made it li live right so when you click on that that content will uh, load that's how the people will see the content access the content so till the content is uh, not published they will not be able to see only the creator will see i hope that was a question and i answered it yes yeah. so a uh, couple of questions from uh, preeti khurana so i guess we'll go one by one so please can the platform customize assessment based on the levels of response of learners okay so what you are saying is a uh, okay so uh, maybe the uh, i not sure whether i understood the question maybe what you are trying to ask is whether whether we can create the question depends on for example i create the questions for certain grade grade 1 grade 2 the certain question targeted to grade 5 etc right if that is a questions then what you can do is when you create an assessment i just show you that example suppose this is assessment when you do that right one way to achieve it okay now this is it okay. is 
here okay now what i am going to show you see this is okay i here this here we can set the certain attributes to the content okay for example uh, this this is a customizable thing what you show see in the in the screen so i can have different field which says that okay now this is a medium english now this basically what i'm trying to do here it is when i create a content i'm just giving some attribute to to tell people or to to say that this content is best fit to medium english for uh, 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 for parent or teachers okay for the class class 1 and some subject right so this we, it is customizable so therefore once you so what what happens is when you do that this content which you created a assessment or content which is tagged with this what we call the framework or framework values therefore uh, therefore when you when any user go to the platform there you can actually you know select class 1 class 4 etc again this is customizable so when you click on class 4 you will see only the content which is created for that particular class if that is what the question was so the answer is yes uh, if i understood correctly you can while creating any content okay uh, uh, you can uh, tag all those uh, uh, the grade and age and those kind of things so then the the content can be filter based on that so there's a follow up question for that uh, is it is it a way to add is there a way to add an explanation of the correct answer in the feedback of assessment for the learner can you repeat that question yeah is there a way to add an explanation of the correct answer in the feedback of assessment for oh, the okay okay so if the question is that uh, uh, whether the after the user clicks on yes or no whether can we say a feedback from the platform say that what you have given is right or wrong is that the question Am yes I? yeah yeah ah, if that's a question is yes. uh, feedback not in terms of uh, it is just say okay it is just simple feedback like uh, it will tell you the answer is right or wrong that's what one of the you know in my example i showed you here which is uh, i assume that's the question so you know there is if you suppose this is your question and i go here and uh, if you select delhi it will give you yes or no this means the feedback is um, uh, yes okay if you give the wrong answer just will do it again uh, give example if you put the wrong answer the feedback system will give you wrong i think that's what was the question okay so uh, uh, i just had a couple of questions actually uh, yeah please so let's say we categorize students as easy medium uh, difficult and high order thinking yeah if a learner is doing difficult uh, can we show more number of difficult or high order thinking questions ha ah, so so as part of the filter which i have showed you here suppose imagine that one second suppose imagine that one of the thing is a difficulty level suppose i click on difficulty level when i click on difficult suppose this is difficult then all the difficult type of question only will display here right and uh, uh, currently that's how it is so you need to that that is control that 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 is achieved by a via uh, using the filter based on you can have a, that kind of filter you can also have filter saying that different levels of questions so when you click on that the questions can come here the content can whatever filter you select that contents will come here that the the, the, con the contents matching with that filter will come here uh, that is a, that is the purpose of we are tagging the contents at the time of creating the content i'm not sure that is i answered correctly but what i request to the user is just uh, send an email with all the questions we will we'll try and address it then that be easy 
okay so this is a follow up question to the previous question uh, yeah. can we add explanation to why is it right or wrong ah no that is uh, right now that's not there in the current uh, uh in the current question we call it a current question editor that's not there but actually there is a uh, those those uh, enhancing all those things are actually in the pipeline there is already some uh, work has happened in that uh, you know uh, uh in that field uh, once that is ready that we will be incorporating that into the uh, system Okay, so I think uh, Prithu hope that hope that answers your question. Uh, we have one more question from uh, Hari Mishra. Yeah. Is it possible to con integrate content here to other platform? Uh. Okay. So if the question is that you have created certain content here, right, and uh, uh, you have some other platform, you want to the way I showed you like the how the. Uh, uh, i'm not sure i got the question if the question is like the way i we, we did h5p where we did for uh, you know that uh, uh, youtube you know we brought youtube into this platform etc whether voice voice versa also can be done if that is the question uh, it is possible only thing is uh, uh, this content which is created in this platform follow certain uh, whatever tech tech standards or uh, that standards not in terms of the quality but there are there are there are certain way it is created right so now uh, in the if you if you if you go to your uh, you know the uh, sunbird.org website correct there are uh, okay so to to say that see when you when you play the content when you play the content we it plays in certain we call it as player the content player okay so there is a way to integrate this content player in a different platform other than the uh, sunbird okay so if you follow those steps in which is which is which be you find it in the sunbird dot uh, org and uh, you can try it out so there is a you can integrate the sunbird player in one of the there will be documentation here if you can look at it so then it is possible if that's what i uh, understood the question is uh uh otherwise it because it is it is not like a for example it is not like a pdf file you download from one site and upload it to uh, uh, another site it is not that simple but it is can be possible following certain steps uh, so you need to have some tech uh, you know knowledge you to figure it out how to do that but that we call the player which we call it as it can be integrated uh, but it requires some you know uh, technical work Am I? So hope I hope Hari, we have answered your question. So there is one more question from X Step. Uh, yeah. Also, one can select the layout based on the options list. I'm not sure if it's a question or not, but yeah, yeah. I did not. One can select the. Uh, sorry, that was uh, I don't think that's a question. Uh, that was an explanation. Like an addition. Okay. we don't have any more questions so i guess maybe let's wait for a, a question ha huh. so puja if you can just share that email id in the uh, in this chat i've already shared the email id in the live chat ha huh. so my request to all of you who join that uh, you know use this opportunity write to us and we'll share you one of the uh, some of the you know creation credentials please play around with this so this will be available for you to use it in the next uh, one week or so yeah so thank you so much puja over to you thank you so much bye thank you thank you so much uh, for this engaging uh, and insightful webinar uh, and for our audiences as uh, vinod said uh, we are offering a trial access of this uh, powerful cloud version uh which can help uh, for a week and that can help you make a better decision to avail the same you can as i was saying we are offering uh, uh the trial access for a week uh that can help you make a better decision uh, to avail the same uh you can register 
you can just scan this QR code and uh, register on the form link or you can uh, even write to us at sunbud at takedy.net or oh, Ame has already shared the email ID in the comment section you can just email us on that email ID so coming to our next special announcement um, As some of you might be aware about the Bachpan Manav initiative. Um, uh, you are audible, yes. 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 Uh, so as some of you might be aware uh, about the Bachpan Manav initiative, there's an interesting masterclass happening uh, where the Bachpan Manav team in collaboration with the changing are coming up with amazing masterclass for collaborators. Uh, and we have today Aparijita Singh from Changing who will be sharing more details about this. Over to you, Aparijita. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much for such an informative session that we just had. Hello, everybody. Uh, we I represent here a foundation in the name of Change Inc. We work towards building the pathways for people with learning disabilities. If you can move to the next slide, please. Yes. Uh, so uh, we work for uh, towards building pathways for people with learning disabilities, and we take a cradle-to-career approach. Uh, for school education and a lot of uh, learning in general, the focus stays in terms of how can we improve the learning journey and the learning outcome of students? And having said that, we focus a lot on system transformation, capacity building, awareness and sensitization. We are collaborating with the Bachpan Manau team and we are uh, taking and strengthening up the ecosystem further for better learning outcomes. Uh, and we have a session to offer in the coming week. If you can move to the next slide, I can tell what the session is about. So the master classes will focus on helping us understand what is neurodiversity. How can you understand what specific learning disabilities look like? How do they manifest? The identification and the screening for SLDs, which are specific learning disabilities, struggles and strengths of people with dyslexia, and the regulatory policy and framework that is existing in our country right now. The, the next half of uh, the session and the workshops that we are going to host, the second part of it will focus on how can we leverage technology to create accessible e-content, e-assessments, and learning management systems. The focus is on strengthening and creating an equitable forum playground for students when it comes to e-learning contents and improving their learning journeys. And the focus is going to be on accessibility. We would be sharing a link uh, in the chat. We would request you to register yourselves. And then soon we'll be sending out the email with the dates um, for the session and we welcome you all to handhold us and uh, make this playground for students more accessible. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Parishita, uh, for uh, sharing about the masterclass. Also, thanks to our lovely audience for joining us and uh, being a part of our Impact Next series. Uh, your presence and enthusiasm made the webinar uh, truly insightful. And don't forget to stay connected with Takeri on social media for all the latest updates and exciting news. Uh, and if you know of any organizations or individual who is contributing to the open source technology, we would love to connect with them. Um, uh, do let us know in comments, DMs, or just email us. Uh, thank you. Thank you for making it matter.